Welcome to Hungry Mind, where we help you build production software with Flutter. Today we are going to dive deep into Value Notifier, including its functionality and how it works under the hood. We start out in the element tree. If you take a look at the implementation of the stateless widget, you will find references to elements. A Flutter app is a tree of widgets. This widget tree then gets turned into an element tree and eventually into a render tree. The element is a critical part of the rendering pipeline. It provides the bridge between the widget and the render object. We will cover elements and the element tree in depth in a separate video. But for now, you just need to know that it performs the underlying logic in your Flutter apps. When writing a Flutter application to make widgets re-render, you would either use set state or a state management package. Both of these options are doing the same thing under the hood. They call a mark needs build function within the element. The core purpose of the mark needs build method is to mark the element as dirty and schedule a new frame, which will result in our build method being rerun. As a little side note, if you look at the implementation of an element, you will see that it implements the build context, which you have access to directly through your widget. Now, you would never do this in a real project, but you can call this rebuild method directly in your Flutter code. You can take the build context, cast it as an element, and call mark needs build. Now you have built set state from scratch, kind of. This all leads us to set state. Set state allows us to call the mark needs build method from a stateful widget. This is the implementation of the set state method. If you look at the bottom of the function, voila, it's calling mark needs build on the element. For now, we have explored set state and what is happening under the hood to cause a re-render in a Flutter application. But value notifier doesn't use set state. So how does that work? Value Notifier is an implementation of Change Notifier. It's a class that can both add and remove listeners. And these listeners are simple methods. So what does that mean? A value listenable builder takes a value notifier as an argument. The value listenable builder is a stateful widget that adds and removes a listener in init state and dispose. The callback or method it adds is just a method that does set state. So anytime the value changes in the value notifier, that will trigger a set state for the builder to make sure the UI rebuilds. Let's look at this from a practical standpoint. The value listenable builder will take the listenable, in this case, a counter notifier. Since this value listenable builder is just a stateful widget under the hood, it will add a listener method in the init state, which we'll call set state. The listener is notified to be called once the counter notifier changes its value. Now everything inside the builder method will be rebuilt to display the updated value. That's all a value notifier is. You can make your own value notifier by passing a listener method in the init state of a stateful widget. But value notifier makes the syntax a little more pleasant. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn how to build production-ready Flutter apps, check out our course at HungryMind.com.